Does your attorney give you easy online access to delinquent assessment and covenant violation case information? Can you view real-time status reports online? Ask Association Ready about a better way to organize your collections process using ReadyCollect. Welcome to What's New in At Home Net. This edition of What's New will cover new features and enhancements for August 2012. We have some very exciting things to talk about this month, so let's go ahead and start off with the biggest one. We're excited to introduce integration with two of the nation's most popular accounting software firms, GenArc and Village Management Software. With these integrations, your website will now feature access to account history, account balances, transactions, work orders, ARC requests, violations, and much more to come. For our management company clients who use GenArc or VMS, you will now be able to offer your communities integration of your account data into your at-home net community websites. Contact your at-home net sales representative today to take advantage of these exciting new integrations. Our next new release for this month is also a big one. To see it in action, let's go ahead and log into our website as an administrator. We're now introducing the new Menu Manager, which opens up a whole new world of possibilities for customizing the menu on your website. To take advantage of the new Menu Manager functionality, you'll have to contact support and opt in. Once you do, this functionality will be available to you. Let's get right to it. We'll go under Admin and click on this Manage Menu tab. First, we should point out that you can use the Menu Manager on your public or private home page. So you can have a different menu layout for each. It's entirely at your discretion. What you'll see along this initial page is how your menu is currently set up. Right now we're on the private side of the website, so we're looking at the menu on the private page. We're just going to go over a brief overview of all of the controls, but for more detailed tutorials on how to actually master this feature, keep a lookout in our training education for videos and tutorials and other information on the menu manager. So let's talk about this initial page. This will essentially show you how your menu is currently set up. These are the top level items, as in Home, My Profile, Activities, etc. As you look up here, you'll see that these match Home, My Profile, Activities. So think of this as a guide to what's currently on your menu, as well as a user interface to customize it. Indented one over to the right are sub-level menu items such as Logout, What's New, Site Search, Online Payment. They correspond with the top level item that they're beneath. Here we can cross check on our menu. Another example would be Activities, a top level menu item, and the sub level items, Announcement, Kids Playgroup, Events Calendar, and so on. Demonstrated here as well. The menu manager allows you to decide what becomes top level and what becomes sub level and to make these changes as you see fit whenever you see fit. As you can see as you hover over them, you can edit or delete any of these items, whether they're top or sub level. You can also drag and drop to rearrange them. Nothing will take effect until you actually click apply changes. You can add new menu items via this Add Menu Item button, which when you click it, gives you an interface, allowing you to give it a title, choose the type of menu item, assign it as a parent or top level menu item as we discussed before, and view security level. Remember you can do this for your private and public homepage menu. You can even link to existing pages already in your site, which includes modules, documents, e-forms, even link to a specific URL. Lots of possibilities for any layout that you want to achieve. So all in all, the Menu Manager makes it easy for you to create menu items, top-level menu items, as we had discussed, place sub-level menu items beneath the created top-level menu items, and arrange your items as you please, both on the top level and in the sub-level. Stay tuned for more videos and training tutorials on this feature. Let's move on to the next enhancement, which is an enhancement to our eForms feature. This enhancement has to do with the drop-down fields capabilities inside of your eForms feature. Let's say for an example, 
Of course, we're about to change over from the summer to the fall. So we want to update a previously existing e-form about what our residents think the pool hours should be. So here in our list of existing e-forms, we see we already have our pool hours survey. Here we have this question, what time should the pool close? Right now it's open-ended, but we want to add some drop-downs to it, giving specific times for the residents to choose. We're going to click on Edit this e-form, and then we're going to click on Edit Form Fields. Here's where you'll see the new functionality. Here under our question of, what time should the pool close? Right now we have this listed as short text. We're going to change it to drop down, and you'll immediately see this new interface pop up. This will make it very simple for you to create the options for this e-form. So let's say for our first option, we want open 24 hours. We'll click add, and you see it adds it to our list box items. Then we'll say close at 6 p.m. Click add close at 7 p.m., add, and so on till we get all of our selections in the list box of items. So once we type them in, it automatically places them on this hierarchy as they'll appear. But let's say we wanted to shift the order of these a bit. Maybe we want 6, 7, 8, 9, and 10 all to appear first. So we want to drag this open 24 hours down. So we'll simply grab it, drag it down. Once we've completed our selections, we click Save. And we'll click here to preview this e-form. And here, as you can see, under what time should the pool close, we have our choices. 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, and open 24 hours. A much quicker and easier way to create your drop-down selections within the eForms feature. Let's move along to the next enhancement, which is to our Instant Articles feature. We'll go to our home page and click on Edit Page. Here we have our Instant Articles widget. We'll click on Edit Property. So as you know, we can name this widget whatever we'd like. And for now, we've called it Instant Articles, and we're using a potpourri of articles from Charge Up for Good Health, and a couple of other categories here. Well, now you'll see that we've introduced a whole new category called Home Do-It-Yourself Articles. So maybe in this particular community, we have a lot of handymen, people who like to do things around the house. So we're going to make it so that our Instant Articles features this category. And we're going to call the entire widget Home Do-It-Yourself. We'll clear out these other categories. And we'll click Apply. Once done with that, we'll click Done. And now you'll see on the page that our Home Do-It-Yourself Articles section is complete, full of a lot of great articles on the subject. Let's move on to the next enhancement, which involves our Email Bulletins feature. Well, you're probably already seeing what we've been working on, a brand new enhanced Email Bulletin interface, giving you all the selections that you'll need right here along the top of the page. The interface provides quick and easy access to all of your email bulletin options. All this information is now placed at the forefront of your feature, which in the end will only end up saving you more time. And of course you can still access these options in the same places you've been accustomed to accessing them inside of the email bulletins feature. While we're on the subject of email bulletins, you'll notice per usual we've released new email bulletin template designs. As usual, you can customize these to say exactly what you need them to. Well, that's going to do it for the August 2012 edition of What's New in At Home Net. As always, we encourage your ideas for new features and enhancements. You can send us an email to support at athomenet.com. We thank you for your business, we thank you for watching, and we'll see you again for the next installment of What's New in At Home Net. That concludes this month's edition of What's New. We'd like to thank all of our existing clients for your time and for your business. As always, we encourage your feedback and ideas, so if you have any suggestions for new features or new enhancements to existing features, send us an email to support at athomenet.com. If you don't have website service with us and you like what you see, send us an email to sales at athomenet.com or give us a call at 1-800-556-7852. Be sure to tune in next month for more new features and more new enhancements from At Home Net.